So while there's been a lot more focus on marketing electric vehicles in the last couple of years, it's actually pretty old um, using uh, ads for marketing electric vehicles. Uh, during my research, I realized that they go back all the way to the end of the 19th century when brands like Baker Motor and Hub Gates, which aren't even companies that are around these days, were putting ads in magazines uh, promoting EVs that, you know, at the time were a lot different than the ones we have now. They could only go 50 to 60 miles on a charge. More recently, you know, back in probably a decade or two ago, they started seeing them in TV ads for Toyota when the Prius came out. And then, um, you know, even a few years ago, popping up the Super Bowl ads. So I started noticing this shift in EV marketing, probably well, definitely early 2021. General Motors had had a big splash at CES last year with a campaign starting with Gladwell and another rebrand where they redid their logo for the first time in a while. And then Super Bowl, they had a ad with Will Ferrell and a bunch of other celebrities. As the year went on, I started just continuing to notice this shift in marketing and how these brands that used to have maybe one EV vehicle at a time were now marketing things at the corporate level. You know, one of the analysts I talked to last year who covers the auto industry pointed out that a lot of these brands, the way he put it, they're no longer just going after the Birkenstock wearing soy latte sipping, uh, you know, green angle for a lot of these vehicles and they're They're wanting to go after the luxury buyers that are more interested in how cool a car looks or how fancy it is that it's just to help the environment. You're seeing brands that want to be a part of pop culture. They want to be a part of celebrity conversations in order to market these things, not just to people that want to save money or help the environment that want to, but they want to kind of tap into the cultural zeitgeist with these big moments, whether it's at the Super Bowl or with big time movies or whatever else. So for example, Disney uh, partnered with General Motors on a campaign for the Chevy Bolt. <laughs> so you had um, you know, classic Disney characters like Peter Pan and Dumbo showing up in, in uh, one of those commercials. And Spider-Man uh, actually worked with Hyundai on an ad as well. This year, Mercedes-Benz is working on a, on a collaboration with Avatar. One of the other notable moments last year was uh, at Saturday Night Live back in May when Elon Musk was hosting. Um, obviously, he's the CEO of Tesla and has a has a large fan base that love to follow whatever he does. And that night when he had his guest appearance, actually several other auto brands decided to do buy ads during SNL to market their EVs during the, the show. You know, it was hard to get a total for 2021 in terms of how much was spent on EV marketing, but a couple of things I did find was there's a research firm called Media Radar that um, estimated that EVs, EV spending mostly disappeared during in 2020 during the height of the pandemic, but uh, in 2021, at least from January to July, spending was at 33 million, which was up quite a bit from 19, which was you know only at 20 million. But that's still a small drop in the bucket when you're thinking about you know how much was spent <laughs> during the same period last year of, from January to July, with the, uh, the overall auto market was spending around three billion dollars in advertising during the first half of the year. One of the other things that I think helped to accelerate the shift to EVs last year was uh, the Biden administration's focus on sustainability and preventing climate change. And so you, you saw a lot of the car brands that kind of were reading the tea leaves and wanting to get ahead of things, whether it's regulatory changes or just consumer changes that people wanting to do their part to protect the environment. And so you know, they were putting a lot more money into making vehicles that people might want to buy as a, for environmental reasons. Uh, you've got some auto brands that are actually, instead of just making entirely new models that are electric powered, they're taking their gas powered vehicles and making electric versions. So we've seen uh, Ford do that with this Mustang um, and also the Ford F-150. Hyundai has been doing that. So that way, if people don't necessarily want to get an entirely new car, they can take the car they're familiar with, but just swap out the gas for a charger. You know, whether these will catch on is it's kind of still hard to tell, but it's probably like a lot of things. People don't necessarily want to take a bet on spending anywhere between 20, 30, 40, $50,000 in a car until they know it's gonna fit within their life. So I'm sure as these things become more common, they're gonna see their neighbors and their friends driving cars. And I think as they get more popular, people are gonna realize that maybe it isn't the biggest um, issue to switch from a gas powered vehicle to an EV as they maybe previously thought.